I just removed the stickiest, nastiest shit known to man. I don't even know what it was. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> but it was something. It was like, I don't know what the hell it was. I think it might have been even old hydraulic fluid gone super hard like tar that was down there. And, oh, look at the stuff in the bottom. I've got to get into that again. And all the way down, all the way down in the bottom there. Now I've got some more stuff to get out of the bottom. Because mm. I dropped it. He even had to make his own tool. Special. Look at, look at this. That's a splay <laughs> shovel, spoon shovel, whatever you want to call it. He made it. There you go. His first few hours of the day. That's today's number one job. <laughs> Get the water and crap out of there. We had to pump it out to start with because it was full of water and oil down there. For I don't know how many years. I yeah. don't know what's been going off. We filled the bucket plus a Coke bottle. Of water. Of water and crap out of there. This morning I have been making a template for the mattress that goes in this second class. So I just had an old sheet or, you know, blanket that I've cut to the right size because as you can see it's a very odd shape and i'll take that to clark rubber and get them to cut me a new mattress yay a new mission today today's mission blinds so we're getting the suction cup blinds like we got put in the truck. The solar screen ones. Yeah, and we're going to have them made for in the boat. And then we don't have to have shitty curtains. And we can block it out or we can change it around however we wish. Hopefully that fits on this one. Ah, I see. So it's a multi-purpose one. I'm hoping. Cal's been working on the deck as well because we had some big chunky holes. And what he's done just for the meantime until we can get to the deck properly, he's gone and bogged them up. We also had some rain the other day and again the hatches all leaked so he's gone and bogged them up some more. Carl thinks it's Christmas. I do. Because I've got toys here <laughs> and toys there. Ooh, a shiny new anchor. Everyone I walk past goes, ooh, that's nice. <laughs> ooh, that's nice. I don't want to pat it. <laughs> they pat it. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Heavy. Yeah. Holy dooly, Batman. 40, 40 kilo. Yeah. And what's what? in... What's in here? Life raft. Oh. But this needs to go over there. Yep, so I'm going to get my muscles on and you help you. So that's a six person. Let's get it open. Let's get it open. <laughs> it's windy again. Oh, 
that man. Pretty. And who do we have to thank for this? My mum bought us a present. <laughs> I think I said it already. She wants us to live. Yes, she does want us to live. It's very new and shiny. Oh, okay. We'll have to do something a bit. Yep. There we go. Fancy. Whew. So it'll be an effort trying to use it if you had to. Oh, uh, he wouldn't want it to do that, would you? No. You'd hope not to. I was hoping it would line up on the wood. Yeah, no, it no, doesn't no. though. No. Let's open it. Happy Father's Day again. No, joking. <laughs> joking. <laughs> Let's open it. I want to see it pull the handle and make it go poof. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is the gift that we hope never to open. Yeah. It's like a present that you leave sitting under your Christmas tree forever <laughs> and never open it. <laughs> What's today's mission? Today's mission. Well, we've got the anchor. Our new anchor's come in, so we've taken it down to the engineers. They're gonna measure it up and have a look at that. We're looking to put a fridge under the seat here because we don't really have enough fridge space and it's extremely difficult to get stuff in and out of the fridge. It's crazy. The freeze is super good, but the fridge is not the best for stacking so we're going to put another fridge underneath here and we're just working out whether i run it off 240 or 12. so currently the ship is running on the inverter and 12 volts by itself it's not connected to the shore so we need to give it a test run to see how that goes i'm also going to start the motor to make sure the inverter runs when the motor runs as well, because both of the fridges are fed off the inverter. Anyway, well, it's doing the thing. I can't believe it runs the fridges and everything. It really works hard. That's a good job. That's the table's warm. It's happy. It's inverter still on. I can inverter be on when it's off. The green light's on. I'm going to turn that shore power off just to make 100% sure. How does it be on? Oh, because I left the breaker on. Let me just turn this off. So we've got no shore, we've just got inverter. <coughs> and it's off. I've opened the seacock. What have you done? I got rid of the old Barbie and we got a new one. It burnt me yesterday. It's dead. It's out of here. It keeps going out. Yeah. And we got a... A Weber. A Weber. A Weber Weber. And I'm not a Weber person. So no. this is going to be interesting. It is. But I am a Weber person now. So one of our neighbours over there actually told us that he loves his Weber and that, yeah, we should get one. Yeah. And Carl said, We're getting one. Caddy, give me your credit card. Yep, we're getting a <laughs> G'day, everyone. Over the last few days, I've been flat out doing boat work, as you probably expect. So, this morning, I have finished off replacing some GPOs, some power points. I've almost finished doing a washing machine install. So, I'll give you a quick look at all of that before I show you the 
ship that's coming in down the channel, which is a uh, sugar ship. It goes down the past the port to load up at the sugar terminal, but I'll show you how big that is. But first of all, this morning, I've sorted out some new outlets. So there's one there. Another one here in the and up in the V-berth. We've got some power up here now. And in here is going to be our washing machine location. So I've built a new shelf there for the washing machine. It's all good. It stored some power, just waiting on a tap so I can do the water to it. And there's the washing machine sitting there. So it's a little bit smaller than what we're used to in the van, but it's the only one that we could currently get because they're not producing the other one. Let's go and have a look at the bulk carrier that's coming past to the sugar terminal. Grab me hat. There goes one of the tugs to bring in the bolt carrier. I've taken up my position in the tender. Yesterday's job was to build a new step which I've done and it's working just nice. Just so that we could get up because the step was too big and after about a hundred step up and down, you get sore knees. So we've got a new step there. So that we can get out. We have just received our shipment of our water maker. I'm just unpacking it now, having a look what's in it. Parts, I don't even know what half of it's for. We're going to find out fittings, hoses, filters, instructions, and the tubes. Let's have a look at them. I've got the appropriate size knife for the job. There are tubes. Ooh. Oh, heavy duty. Wow, super thick. I guess it's super high pressure. So, and the filters. So you might be wondering, why did I choose Watermakers Australia for our watermaker? It was pretty simple after I started to look into it, I think anyway. The components of the water maker are all generic in other words there's no special things it's not in it hasn't got a special pump it's not in a special case nothing like that of course the tubes are um, generic to water makers but and that's all but all the other plumbing fittings and so on are standard plumbing you can even use a karcher or high pressure water cleanup to supply the unit with the water pressure that it needs but we have opted for the purpose-built um, stainless steel marine pump. You can use any pump, as long as it's suitable pressure. So, the reason I got this is, because all the parts are easy to get. It has got twin tubes, which means that if one fails for some reason, we still have another tube available to make fresh water. So I think it was a good option. The price was, you know, reasonably similar. Um, everything looks very nice. Let's have a look at the control panel. Wow. Oh, looks super good. Liquid fuel gauges. As I said, all the components are very generic components that you can get from most, not most places, but anywhere if you had a failure. Hmm. It's actually a three-phase pump. And in here we have filter housings. So we did get a couple extra filters because I wanted to redo our drinking water. But the system also requires filters. 
I've already had a look at this. They're super robust. So obviously I'm going to have to go through the instructions, understand what's happening, how to set it up. Once you've got all the components installed, you measure up the hoses and Watermakers Australia actually manufacture the hoses to the exact length that you need. So you tell them what length hoses you need and then they will manufacture them and send them off to you so that you don't have to worry about doing any fittings or anything like that. It all sounds fairly easy, but who knows, eh? We will see. And you can come along for the install journey. If you happen to be in the market for a water maker, use our discount code for 5% off. Saves you about 350 bucks. There you go. Water maker coming up. All right, you might be wondering where the water maker's going to go. Well, it's going to go in the dungeon. There's some spare hoses in here that we've got to get rid of. Those ones there. And we are going to mount it in here somehow. I don't know yet, but we'll have to get onto it and see. And clean up in here a little bit as well. Nasty. There's a hose fitting up there that needs to be fixed. I don't know whether you can see that sucker. That's the overflow for the aircon. And in there is our water tank. So one day I'm going to have to get in there and have a look at those as well well after about six hours of working out the water maker and what i'm doing i haven't actually done that much <laughs> but i know what i'm doing now at least so the pump is still on its way because they were short of pumps the filters are going in here water filters the other filter goes there the membranes are going vertically on the wall over here and the pumps going down there where that pump spot is so I've got a basic plan I know what I'm doing I just need to get stuck into it tomorrow and I'll be able to tap this because this is about six mil thick steel so I can drill a few holes in there and mount the membranes on that I don't know what that uh, extension lead is coming out of the hole that goes around. Ah, uh, uh, it's 12 volt power for the toilet. That's what it is. So somebody's done some rough work there. But anyway, we'll get onto it tomorrow. Hopefully get these filters finished mounting. I'm having a bit of trouble. I can't quite reach. I need another person. Have to get onto that. It's a bit flexy. This one's up here wobbly we'll have the control panel is going to go here now I'm going to sort out some dinner and dinner today has been cooking all day we have got chunky style stroganoff in there and I'm just going to have that on some mash and if you haven't worked it out already Caddy's not here. She's gone down to the Sunshine Coast to visit her relatives. So I'm here all by myself working. But it's now beer o'clock. Well, bourbon o'clock for me anyway. I'm done. Finished for today. It is nearly 4.30. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want a reminder, hit the bell. And remember, we always love a thumbs up. If you're interested in joining our Patreon, jump on over to our Patreon page.